can AML be cured? So AML can be cured. And th that's an important statement to make up, uh, up front. Whenever a patient is presents with AML, one of the and the doctor thinks about what type of treatment can can this patient tolerate and and what is the patient's age, and the, and also the what is the the staging if you want of the acute leukemia is it the low grade the intermediate or the high grade and based on the patient's age and all these factors that I mentioned decisions will be made as to what type of treatment you're going to deliver to the patient and whenever possible we know that transplantation has probably the best chance of an, of initiating a cure so that's an important point. So whenever you, a, a, a patient comes along, you'll try and decide, well, is this patient able to tolerate the intensive type chemotherapy in order to try and achieve a remission? Or do I have to use a lower intensity type chemotherapy um, that may not put the, have the, the increased chance of achieving a complete remission. So that's the one thing when an initial decision is made. But for all patients, whether they're in the higher risk group or the intermediate risk group, or even in the low risk group, they have chance of cure. So that's an important point to start with. Now, so we always try and decide whether a patient can have a transplant. And that also relates to the age of a patient because patients over the age of 75 would have a very difficult chance, if you want, of getting into, of tolerating and getting through a transplant procedure. So that's the one thing. And even patients over 70, you know, not all of them can tolerate a transplantation based on other comorbidities. In other words, other disorders that may be present like underlying the heart problems or lung problems or kidney problems, for instance, important points. So the transplant gives the best chance of cure. Now, when we talk about cure, we mean, Usually, you can say a patient's cured if the pa leukemia hasn't relapsed within five years of the, the diagnosis of, of the leukemia. That's an important point. So it, when a patient gets be, the relapse mostly occurs within the first two years after the treatment's given. But and for each year that passes beyond two years, so the chance of relapse declines significantly. So if you if a patient makes it to five years and without relapse, the the chance of relapsing after that is very small. But it can occur. So that's just one one important point to to make. It. So we cannot be sure if a patient's cured. We can say before five years, but we can say that the patient's been achieved a remission that, that you cannot find evidence of the, of the leukemia, but it doesn't mean to say they, they, that they're going to be cured. So two distinct sort of terminologies to use. So for patients, the older patient, the chance of cured is, and who, who cannot tolerate the intensive chemotherapy, chances of being cured is anywhere from 20% to, to, to maybe 30% range, depending on, on again, on the, on the underlying comorbidities and the age and their performance status. So, and for younger patients, cure rates can be as close to 50% without a transplant. So, um, transplant may have a, a, allow an increased a chance of being cured for some patients. And there are a number of other factors that come into the, you know, the chance of cure uh, based on the features of the underlying leukemia. Uh, 